Okay, good afternoon. My name is Mohammed Ayad, and today we're going to be talking about SodaStream, and we're going to look at the case itself, do an analysis. So let's look. Let's look at today's agenda. So first things first, we're going to start with an overview of the company itself, what it has done, what it is, or what it consists of. Uh, secondly, we'll talk about the target market, who the product is aimed at. Uh, thirdly, we're going to look at the problem statement of the company and what they're trying to perceive with their new strategy. Fourth point is we're going to look at a highlighted SWOT. So the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, then we're going to look at an alternative evaluation. So a solution to the strategy that they're trying to come up with, what they should do. Uh, also a decision matrix. And finally, we're going to, going to end with a recommendation. So first things first, what is SodaStream? SodaStream, basically, it seeks to revolutionize the beverage industry by providing a better alternative and environmentally, uh, environmentally friendly way for consuming carbonated products. So let's look at what they have what they have to offer. Their main product is a home carbonated product that offers a different variety of flavors. You are able to make it at home or take it anywhere with you. It currently has 6.5 million active users and it's a mainstream alternative to bottled soda. So what is their goal basically? They want to capitalize on the um, basically on the soda market by introducing a new trend where you're able to make your own carbonated beverages. Um, they provide a convenient, sustainable, healthy, and wellness way to consume a carbonated beverage. And most importantly, it provides a value for your money. And most thing people look forward to is personalization. So what is their motto? Basically, they are a stylish rebel in the industry and they're trying to perceive this image where you have to stand out. You are you, you are personal, you have your own personalization, you can do whatever you want, you can make your own drinks. So basically to have your own spot within a social community that they're trying to perceive. So I'll pass off to Simon who will be doing the target market. For the target market, we made a uh, ideal customer profile. So um, within our target market, um, these are people in the age group of 25 to 50. Uh, their households in the U.S., so individuals and families. Uh, the consumers are healthy and environmentally conscious. Uh, they're trendsetters, and they look for innovative uh, new products to purchase. And they have an income of 50000 or more. Um, as well as Mohammed said before, uh, they focus on convenience, sustainability, value for their money, and uh, personalization as well in their products. Uh, so the problem statement which we're looking to fix with our campaign is uh, the major issue, which is uh, a lack of brand awareness um, amongst U.S. consumers in, that, in our current market. Um, the objective is to educate U.S. consumers and uh, for the convenience, personalization, value for the money, and environmentally beneficial aspects of the product. Um, and finally, the decisions that need to be made with our campaign is to increase the media and advertising budget for uh, by emphasis on television media especially um, because US consumers are uh, they love television media and, and commercials and right now um, there's not a large emphasis on TV media with SodaStream's current uh, campaign um, as well change the core message and positioning strategy uh, amongst the US con uh, sorry amongst the US market by focusing on a, a more specific US consumer campaign so fitting more with like kind of the trends that they are uh, currently focused on and whatnot. And uh, finally, implement a sales promotion to the use of a uh, CO2 cylinders that are included or part of the product. Um, this will uh, allow consumers to see uh, basically the, the double aspects of the product and speed up the purchase decision making process. So next, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Paul, who's going to do the SWOT. Thank you, Simon. So we're going to see the strengths, uh, threats, opportunities, and weaknesses about going on the U.S. market for SodaStream. So first of all, the strengths. Uh, so SodaStream looks like a trendy, environmental, environmentally friendly product with reduction of the plastic bottle. As we said, you only need one bottle to do your beverage, so to reduce the amount of plastic bottles. There's a strong market share in Western Europe market, creating a European uh, lifestyle product. For the American customer, it might be important to have a European product. They're very aware of those products, so it might be a strength for the company. They have a razor and razor uh, blade, bi blade business model, which means that um, their business model is divided in two, two parts. First of all, they're selling the, the first product, which is the machine, one bottle, 
and the flavor that they have with low margin and on the, the second side they have high margin with uh, re refill flavor and uh, new bottles to add. Uh, it's a um, new wave product, <coughs> healthier than the other soda on the market, which is important regarding to the trend that is going on on the market. And they have partnership with different brands such as Samsung. So for example, uh, they made a partnership with Samsung, which means that with the new refrigerator from Samsung, it's included a bottle of the product. So regarding the weaknesses, <coughs> Uh, there is still uh, there still have low market uh, share in the U.S. with a lack of brand awareness uh, due to the fact there is so many competitors on the market. Uh, there is a lack of environment impact awareness in the U.S. market. We know that uh, they are among the the most um, the less uh, less uh, <laughs> uh, to to they are not really aware of the environment yet, and they need to do a lot of progress regarding this. Uh, there is still a customer loyalty uh, to Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Those are uh, historical American brands that are represent the soda market. And it's very important for those customers to, to stay with those brands. Uh, the customer needs to purchase different elements in order to use the product. So as I said, they, has to, they have to have the, the, the machine, the plastic bottle, and the flavor, which can be a, a little problem at the end if you want to use it on the long term. Uh, the CO2 bottle uh, is not universal. You can only purchase it from the company SodaStream. So it also it might be a little bit not very convenient. Uh, if you have problems at the last minute and you want another bottle, uh, you have to have it from SodaStream. So the opportunities. Uh, the carbonate beverage market is one of the most important uh, markets in the world in the United States. So it's really a country that is attractive for carbonate beverage. Uh, there is a market and co-branding and a uh, big trend for LC product in the moment. So the threat, the, so the, the, there's two companies that are doing main, almost the same thing, which are CMCR and Prima Water Corporation. Uh, they are more on the coffee-made market, uh, but they are uh, regarding to do the little bit same system as to the stream, so they have to be aware of this for the future. So the carbonate of green markets is declining since many years. So this is a threat, but it can be also a, um, a new boost for the market to have products such as SodaStream. There is an historical lobby from companies as Coca-Cola and Pepsi. For example, um, the SodaStream advertisement was uh, forbidden during the Super Bowl uh, due to the, the problem that he made uh, on, about Coca-Cola and Pepsi because they were not talking on a good way uh, of the company. So I will pass on to Sydney. All right, so I will be going through the alternative evaluation. So our first alternative was to invest in television marketing because currently SodaStream is only um, focusing their marketing efforts on radio and social media, email, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we suggested increasing their marketing budget because they their current marketing budget is not enough to, sat, to fully utilize the TV. Um, so we suggest investing in television marketing. So some of the pros for investing in television marketing are uh, the wider reach that it provides. Uh, TV also provides a trigger for purchase, um, which will increase sales in the long run. Uh, it increases the product awareness, which is one of the major marketing objectives that SodaStream uh, wants to achieve, and it increases brand recognition, which is pretty low in the U.S. market right now. The cons of investing in television market is that it is more expensive. It still might not evoke that emotional connection with consumers if the message that they have doesn't really relate to the U.S. market. And um, we found a study that states that fewer and fewer people are watching um, TV. So our alternative two is to develop a new US specific marketing campaign. Uh, so the pros of this one would be to uh, approach uh, and attract the US consumer more specifically. Um, so approach uh, will attract the US consumer more specifically. Uh, emotional connection factor fell short as well as taste. So changing the marketing approach um, will better um, target this new uh, US segment and they'll be able to relate to the message more. And uh, consumer perception of taste will increase if they change their marketing 
to maybe including the brands that they work with. So there'll already be that emotional connection and that sense of taste with brands such as uh, taste and all those things. Uh, cons of this is that it can damage their current image. It can change the consistent international brand image that they already have. And it may involve in the long run changing other aspects of the whole brand, like their target market and their value proposition. And then our third alternative would be sales promotions. Uh, we have some pros, so it's less costly than increasing the advertising budget. Uh, it increases perceived uh, convenience. So let's say our sales promotions would be when you buy a soda stream, you get a certain amount of CO2 free refills. So it'd be more convenient for consumers. It increases sales and uh, partners may promote the sales promotion. So it may increase, it's kind of like a free advertising through their partners. If the sales promotions have to do with those like taste uh, brands. Uh, the cons is that it does not increase the product or brand awareness. Uh, it will not fix the core positioning product uh, positioning issue that we found that SodaStream had with their U.S. consumers. It increases sales, but it may just be short-lived, uh, so it will not fix the core issue once again. And sales promotions usually do not create repeat customers, which is something that SodaStream is kind of looking for because they have this razor and razor blade business model, and it may hinder the image of quality. So people may think that because it's going on sale, that it's not selling, selling really well. So I'm going to be talking about the decision matrix. I'm going to be going over the different criteria, what the different weights we gave for each, and talking about how different alternatives are approachable for using these uh, all those five different criteria. Let's look at the first one. We have brand awareness. We gave that one a, a score of five because that is essentially what the company is trying to, to reach at. And we're looking at expenses. Of course, a weight of four either means that it would be worth it to invest more money into it, or it could be it could be more costly and it could have a negative impact depending on which alternative that we're going to be choosing. Brand image and sustainability, we put those together because having a eco friendly uh, looking uh, company will have a better brand image. An increase in sales is the second thing that the company is mostly looking for. And we also added the customer retention because some alternatives are either going to have temporary sales that are going to be either immediate and another alternative might be where they're going to reach out to customers on the long run where that's going to recreate a customer loyalty. And then we're going to look at which alternative is going to adapt to those needs. Let's look at alternative one where that's the TV advertising. So we gave that brand awareness a five because that would that could reach out a huge brand a huge number of customers, like we mentioned in the Super Bowl where there's millions and millions of people who watch it. So that will create a good brand awareness. Most people are going to be aware of SodaStream. If we look at the expenses, we gave uh, the expenses we gave that one a one because it's it's very costly to have it on uh, TV and most and TV is going to. TV advertising is being less used as uh, the years go by. Let's look at the brand image and sustainability. Advertising, uh, advertising on TV does not really promote a good brand image. We're going to see that Alternative 2 has a better brand image because it's starting off as a new campaign. Increasing sales, it will definitely increase sales because it's reaching out to a wide audience, but it will mostly not bring out the uh, retention that we want from the customers because it's only one specific product that it, we're probably only promoting at a specific time to be to purchase it right now. So let's look at alternative two. The brand awareness was given a score of three because a new, a new campaign might be launching a new way of, of promoting the product and most people might not be aware of that new way of doing, uh, of promoting the soda stream. The expenses, we gave that one uh, an intermediate score of three because it could be really rewarding as it can be compromising to the company depending on how the campaign will end up going in which direction. The brand image and sustainability, SodaStream is going into a more eco-friendly uh, path which creates a better brand image. Definitely will be an increase of sales because that is the ultimate goal of coming out with a new marketing campaign. Now, uh, the, uh, the goal as well is to have customer retention, which is something that will be highly considered during an alternative such as a new marketing campaign. Let's look at uh, alternative three, sales promotion. 
it is it will create a good uh, it will create a good brand awareness but only temporarily because it will be using a different product to to advertise it so it won't be solely on soda stream as it would be also using the partners it will be promoting the partners as well so the expenses it would be costly as well but it wouldn't be as rewarding as let's say alternative two. the brand image it, again, it will not show that it's a good brand image because it would not seem as if only SodaStream is the uh, the uh, the brand if it's part if it's showing that it's partnering up with another company. It will increase sales, but only temporarily, because it will have only a limited time offer for a promotion. The customer retention on that one is is ranked with a score of one because it's not as as uh, retaining for them, you know, it's if, it, if the customers will only be interested for that specific promotion. So by looking at all those three alternatives, we can see that alternative two, which is a new marketing campaign that seems the most promising. So I'll pass it along to Mohammed, who's going to be talking about the recommendations. Okay. As Hala said, we decided to go with alternative two after analyzing problem statement, target market, all the uh, SWOT analysis that were done. Um, presumably why? Because the United States itself is a very unique market. It's not like the European market where they're more open to a friendly, a friendly, environmentally friendly product. It's quite different. So they have to start off from the very beginning, start off with the secondary research, look at the market itself. What do the, what the, what do the uh, US consumers want out of a product? First things first is, let's say, do you want convenience? Do you want health? Do you want wellness? Do you want value for your money? These are all aspects we need to look at. And alternative two provides that best, basically the best choice for any marketer to be able to determine the final strategy. And mostly, we recommend that SodaStream partners up with other brands, a well-known brands that the US consumers can relate with, such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, Sprite, etc and provide a flavor where the clients can actually personalize their own product. Thank you.